Let us remember we are in the holy presence of God. She was gifted with a brilliant mind, a beautiful voice, and an attractive personality. She was also a scholar, a dynamic teacher, a poet, and an evangelist. And she was a Roman Catholic nun, a religious sister, a member of the Franciscan Sisters of Perpetual Adoration. Born into a Methodist family in Mississippi in 1937, Thea Bauman was an only child. Her father, the son of a slave, was a medical doctor, and her mother a teacher. Her parents sent her to Holy Child Jesus School, which was staffed by the Franciscan Sisters. And when Thea decided to become a Catholic at age nine, her parents reluctantly approved. After high school, she traveled to Wisconsin to join the Franciscan Sisters at St. Rose Convent, and she attended Viterbo University there. She later earned a Ph.D. in English and Linguistics at the Catholic University of America, where she wrote her doctoral thesis on the American writer William Faulkner. Sister Thea then served as a teacher for the next 16 years. She taught at an elementary school in Wisconsin, then a high school in Mississippi. She would later be on the faculty of three different colleges, Viterbo University, Catholic University, and Xavier University in New Orleans. At the urging of Auxiliary Bishop James Leike of Cleveland, Ohio, Sister Thea became involved and played a major role in the 1987 publication of a new Catholic hymnal called Lead Me, Guide Me, the African American Catholic Hymnal. In that hymnal, there is an essay by Bauman in which she writes, Black sacred song is soulful song, which is holistic because it engages the whole person, mind, voice, and body, participatory, the whole congregation can join in, real, it celebrates the real experiences of separation, grief, oppression, struggle, spirit-filled, it's energetic and intense, and life-giving, it refreshes, it invigorates, and it sustains. After 16 years of teaching, Bishop Joseph Brunini of Jackson, Mississippi, convinced Sister Thea to take on the role of consultant for intercultural awareness, and thus she became more directly involved with ministry to her fellow African Americans. A woman who both fully embraced her African American culture and her Catholic faith, she became a kind of traveling evangelist, giving inspirational talks to black congregations around the diocese and later around the country. Sister Thea appreciated and celebrated the cultures and gifts of all peoples, and she encouraged black Americans to celebrate their own identity, something she continued to do even after being diagnosed with cancer in 1984. In 1989, just months before her death, Boston College recognized her many talents and her contributions to the church by granting her an honorary doctorate in religion. And just a week before she died, the University of Notre Dame announced that it would award Sister Thea the prestigious Laetari Medal, which was presented posthumously. Sister Thea Bauman died of cancer in her parents' home in Canton, Mississippi, in 1990, at age 52, and she was buried with her parents in Memphis, Tennessee. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you for the many gifted and inspirational teachers and artists you send into our lives. May we recognize and appreciate them and their many talents. And may each one of us learn to use our talents to enrich the lives of others. Sister Thea once said, Sometimes people think we have to do big things in order to make a difference. But if each one of us would light just one candle, we'd have tremendous light. Just as Sister Thea was and still is a light for so many, help each one of us to be that light for others. St. John Baptist de La Salle, pray for us. Live Jesus in our hearts forever.